Hello everyone, my name is Orson and today I want to show you a cool little design I've made which is an automatic smelter for survival Minecraft. It uses 16 smelters so you will be smelting at 16 times the regular speed of a single furnace uh, but you don't have to manually refill all of them, that all happens automatically. The entire idea is that you grab some smeltable items, for example cobblestone, you put them in the top chest Fuel goes into this chest, which is next to the top chest, and your output, we can ignore this for now, will go into the bottom chest. Uh, hopper minecarts will distribute the items evenly over all furnaces, and then another hopper minecart will take out all the items and put them in the output chest. It has some advantages over other designs, for example, you don't have to fill every single hopper and furnace all the way with coal, so you use a lot less coal, this should not be here, uh, you use a lot less coal than other designs, and you use a lot less resources in other parts too. You can notice that it only uses two hoppers per furnace, some other designs build entire walls of hoppers, we don't do that here, uh, you only need about... 40 hoppers, so you don't need that much iron to actually start building this. This is not very late game design. You can actually build this pretty much any time. Uh, so I'll explain more about the design later, but first let's take a quick look at how to build it. All the resources you'll need are in this chest. Uh, let's back that up and destroy this chest so we grab all the items we'll need. Uh, let's move it so we can actually use these items. We will need the chests, we can keep this, and this, and this. Alright, here we go. So you want to place your output chest, like so. Two hoppers pointing into it, uh, and on top of this hopper you want to put a block, sorry, on top of this hopper you want to put a block. Uh, then one block here just to measure and then 16 furnaces you want to go to the left. So you, you can remove this block, you can keep it, doesn't really matter I think. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. You can hold shift uh, to, like, otherwise if you use regular right click, you will go into the furnace. If you hold shift, you can do it like this, which is really easy. Uh, go one block to the side and one block down, and also a block down. Uh, put a lever on top of on the side of this one, turn it on. One power rail, make sure the power rail is on. And then blocks all along the bottom here. One powered rail here on top of this uh, hopper and rails all alongside here. So you get one, this little pathway. Uh, you want to come out with a comparator on the bottom of this hopper block into a block, into a torch, uh, take a dropper and a hopper the dropper pointing upwards, a hopper pointing it back inside the dropper, and put one block, it doesn't matter what it is, just make sure you don't confuse it with the other blocks, just put one random block in there. A block on the side of that, and a comparator pointing into this block on top of that hopper. This is the bottom portion uh, done. All you need to do is place one minecart with hopper right here, and you can test it real quick just by taking one item and putting it in there and it should go back and forth once and that worked okay now on top of here you want to take uh, hop hoppers uh, i've placed the furnaces all pointing this way by the way if you want to use this for visual some way i would suggest doing it as it was displayed there and facing all the furnaces this way, but it doesn't matter, that's just for visuals. So put hoppers each facing into 
the furnace is sideways and the same on top. I'm going to the far end here, block it off like so and take a lever and put it over here. Now I'm gonna do some tricky stuff with, uh, well it looks simple here but it might be tricky for you, uh, with rails. If it ever happens that you want to place rails like so and you want to make it right next to it but it bends or something or it, it breaks off and it starts making this kind of weird stuff, uh, you can always fix that by going one further, then placing right next to where you want to do and then remove it later so you get this. So. If it starts interconnecting here, just make sure you always go one further and you'll be fine. There are no bends in this, so it's always going to be simple. Actually, that turns off the ground. So, uh, you want to go three. And you'll notice here that it would break if, like, if you would, were, if you were building in this direction. So you would just do it like so. Make sure it always goes one further. And then you can do it like so. Like, you, you'll figure it out. Just poke around a bit and you'll be fine. So, uh, put three right next to each other, three powered and then only regular rails. So you come two from the end and you want to do two powered rails, block and then a slab. for the, We're doing the top one first by the way, so the slab for the top one and place a block here this is a temporary block. We just are placing this so we can put a fence gate on top of it and remove the block. Uh, you need a block under a fence gate to place it, but then you can just keep it. Then continue with the powered rail under here. And then put a block, tempor temporary block here. Uh, actually, it's not temporary, sorry. That, that block is there to stay. And then grab your chests. Make sure... Uh, you make this shape first, so make sure you go one further, so it it goes up the detector rail, and then place your chests like so. So you will have this going upwards. Uh, then we come back once again here. Place a whole bunch of regular rails, then a block, and a block. Uh, here I made a mistake too. Again, two from the end. You want to go to powered rails instead. And here you want a normal rail, and then a powered rail, and then a block. And then two chests on top of that block. Uh, those two blocks. Um, then coming outside of the side of this, you want to put a block down here. So you can take a comparator coming out of this block. Into a block. You can use shift click here again. Into a dust. Oops. I normally have a dust on two. That's why we been falling okay good make sure you, you don't have accidental items falling here in here you don't want to mess stuff up I don't think it matters in this case but just in general the tip and redstone thing uh, put a torch on the side of that block like you want to have like comparator dust a block on the side of the dust with a torch on the side of it then a block and with redstone pointing into this rail uh, that was almost it. Now you would just want to come to the side of here, so on the opposite side of where you have all this redstone. Put one block on the side of the slab. Grab a comparator. Like so. You can hold shift here again, or put it on the side, whatever. And put three dust going upwards towards the fence gate. Make sure the fence gate is closed so if you can't have it open, make sure it's closed. Uh, now we're almost done. You want to put 64 coal in the first furnace uh, and temporarily put like one coal in here. Uh, we're going to remove this later but this is temporary. Now grab upper minecarts. Oh, I almost forgot these are still unpowered. You want to put one block on the side of this chest with your last lever like so. So these will get powered and put your last two upper minecarts, one under here and one in there. 
I have filled this minecart all the way with coal and put some reserve in this chest. Uh, you want you have filled this furnace, this first furnace with coal. It's important that all the first furnace is filled and all the other ones are empty. Whoa. All the other ones are empty. And once you've done that, remove this one temporary coal you've placed. If everything went right, then this hopper minecart should put two coal in the first hopper, have all the other hoppers empty, and two coal in every single furnace. This is an easy way. If you ever screw something up, make sure all the hoppers, all the furnaces are empty. Put 64 coal in here, one coal in here so this minecart won't start moving. Fill the minecart and then remove the temporary coal and run it once along. Um, if something messes up, you can always repair it like this. This won't ever mess up as long as you always keep this chest filled with coal. Uh, or sticks or charcoal, whatever you're using as fuel. And that's the entire thing done. So let's give it a test. Let's put in some cobble. Maybe I forgot something. The test will find that out. Oh, yeah, I already got something. Uh, you want to put take your 14 items and put it in the last slot, this is important, in the last slot of this hopper minecart. So that's where those 14 wool or whatever you use. As long as it's not smeltable, that's important. The items you use for this hopper minecart must not be smeltable. Now we'll quickly explain how everything works. Um, because it should be ready, like you can use this to smelt now. If you're not interested in how it works and you're also not interested in how to make it for less furnaces, then you, you're you done now, but I would suggest you to still wait uh, for maybe little warnings or stuff you need to know about the design. So the entire idea of this design is that we keep every single furnace synchronized. That means that if one is smelting, they are all smelting at once. It never happens that once one is smelting and the other one is not. We do this by uh, when items get put into the input chest, it will get sucked up by this upper minecart. Uh, but it's blocked by this fence. This fence will not open until this uh, redstone reaches it. Um, it will reach it only when it has exactly 32 items or more. With 31 items in there, it will not reach, but as soon as we put the 32, 32th in there, or 32nd, I'm not exactly certain, it will actually run. And then it will wait again for more items. So this is one disadvantage of the system. It can only smelt 32 items at once. You cannot smelt less than it. It will only start smelting as soon as you put in 32 items. It can be combined. So you can have 16 glass, and, uh, 16 sand, and 16 cobble. That doesn't matter. It just has to be 32 total. So if you only want to smelt one cactus, but you don't want to smelt other stuff, you can either use a manual system and not run it through your major smelting system, or you can just force it to smelt by putting it in first and then 31 cobble, and it will do its job anyway. Uh, the entire point of keeping everything synchronized is that we make sure that every single furnace always smelts at the same time. This means that every single furnace also always uses the same amount of coal. So we only have to check the first furnace for coal. So if we have this one filled with a hopper pointing into it, as soon as this, uh, this hopper will now have two coal in it, and you see that every other furnace also has two coal in it. As soon as this hopper is empty, that means every other furnace is empty. So we only need to start refilling. Excuse me. We only need to start refilling once this hopper turns empty. Once this hopper turns empty, the torch turns on, and the hopper minecart will refill all the f fuel. Uh, this has two disadvantages. You always must keep the fuel full. If it runs out of fuel, you might get desync and. One starts smelting and the other starts not and stuff starts clogging up. You don't want that. Uh, keep it full and if it if it's not full or you see that it broke down somehow, yeah, we'll have to manually fix it. But if not, it works perfectly and it takes a lot less resources than those for uh, hopper walls. I prefer this. 
Actually, it always takes less resources because to fill those hopper walls and make those function, you actually need way more pool. Like, you only need like one, one and a half stack to keep this going inside the system. So that takes a lot less. We also abuse this, whoops, the synchronized uh, smelting at the bottom. We only detect at the first furnace if something is uh, done, and then we run back and forth. This is an advantage of the system. There is no constant going back and forth going on like other designs. It it only runs the hopper minecarts when needed. It only runs the refueling minecart when needed. It only runs the item fuel item. Uh, what's that called? Uh, item feeding, I guess. Item feeding system back and forth when needed, and it only t runs the item extraction system when needed. The exact redstone, like, you can probably figure it out. I don't think I'll need to explain that. Uh, and, and that's basically the entire system. Now, if you want a smaller system, let's say you don't want 16 furnaces, but you only want to use 8. Uh, this means it, it, it'll smelt at half the rate, but it also means that you waste less coal. If you only put in 32 items right now, you use 16 coal, but you only use smelt... 32 items, so you waste some pool. Uh, this is no problem if you use this for massive. If you, like, well, massive, it starts at two stacks. If you put in two stacks of cobble, there will be no waste at all. But if you, you're a bit smaller, you don't want to use this many hoppers, or you don't want to waste that much pool if you're doing a smaller job, you can build it with 8 or 12. I wouldn't suggest going beyond 16, but what you need to do is you just like take out out of the middle like you move all of this one block to that side and if you wanna run less hoppers you put in one extra wool so every uh, for every furnace less you put in one extra wool so if you want to use eight furnaces instead of 16 you'll need to put in eight extra wool so there will be 22 wool of course I'm saying wool but this could be any item just make sure it's not smeltable um, other don't do this with this designs are don't feed it unsmeltable items it will clog up and you'll have to manually fix it don't feed it I don't know like don't put in T blocks don't do stupid stuff and it will work just fine I think that was it I'm not certain if there's anything I've missed um, no uh, oh yeah, f final thing, don't mix fuel. Uh, only use coal, only use charcoal, only use sticks, use whatever you want. Just don't mix fuels, it will not work. But other than that, everything will work fine. Uh, and, and the absolute final thing is these have to be uh, chests, don't, don't make these hoppers. Uh, if you want to feed this to an automatic uh, fueling system, for example a witch farm, Keep these chests, make sure there's always blocks, uh, always a block here, otherwise the minecart will just fly off into uh, the distance. Uh, and you can just integrate this into your larger system through, I don't know, here. Just make sure there's no, yeah, there's no power here and here and you will be fine. Just don't make these hoppers or you will have a bad day. Uh, that is it. Uh, don't have a bad, have bad day, have a good day. And uh, I hope you can use this design in your survival world. Goodbye.